Yeah, hello. I made you a homemade coffee. Oh. So this is a, careful, I don't have a Christmas travel mug because we're minimalist. Yeah. <laughs> so I made you a sugar cookie, almond milk, Starbucks coffee cat oh. latte. Oh, what, well, what's in it? Okay, so I had the the cookie almond milk latte at Starbucks, and yeah. it was amazing, but it's okay. so expensive. Eight dollars, okay. yeah. Okay. So you get the syrup that has vanilla in it, Yeah. a little almond al abstract. Okay. Uh, abstract? Abstract. Extract. Yep. <laughs> abstract extract. almond. Yep. Got it. And some white chocolate Ghirardelli chips. Oh. Melted in there with the almond milk. Okay. So you just melt that all together in the almond milk oh, and then uh, add yeah. a little espresso. Oh. I don't, you haven't, have you had it? You haven't? No, you I don't haven't. know what you're comparing, but no. it doesn't matter. It's yummy. It's very good. The white chocolate chips melting in there are what yeah. make it really creamy because yeah. usually almond milk isn't creamy. Mm -mm. Right? And so, but it, wow. don't all the flavors come together? It's like, that's wonderful. Okay. And now you I'm saving be a so much money making it So at much home. money. Okay. Fast forward. I changed. We're home. I put Caden down. I'm going to sit down at my desk for a minute. We'll see how long I get. You know, uh, going out shopping just to get out of the house and spend time together is fun. But shopping ethically made gifts that are helping women get out of poverty and trafficking is so much more enjoyable. So please do take a moment to shop Trades of Hope this Christmas season and you will find the most beautiful and meaningful gifts find the link below. Well, I've been making caramel macchiatos at home because oh. you just get the Starbucks caramel macchiato creamer and you froth some of your own milk with a little bit of yeah. the creamer, two tablespoons yep. of the creamer, and then put it into your dark roast coffee. And it's- Do I, you still have the little frother from Ikea? No, I have one? upgraded okay. it. One okay. where you pour the milk in and okay. hit the button. Oh. It's pretty bougie. Oh, but okay. But I've, it's already paid for itself. Like, No, that's how I yeah. feel. Even yeah. these ingredients are like maybe $10, but yeah, that's seriously like one drink. Okay, we're babies with us today. You can hear him. We're just literally getting out of the house. This is just for fun. But I was thinking about how you keep from impulse buying when you're Christmas shopping. Yeah. Do you don't have go into the store? No, I'm like, you're going to make me go into Home Goods? Like, I know. I'm good on decor. Okay. I, I'm i not. I okay. just need some like greens, okay? okay? Because I can't put things on shell, on tables or anything because I yeah. have little kids. Right. So I'm thinking things I can like put around windows or mirrors or like so greens and bows and things. Okay. And then I we do need that. one or two really nice, yummy Christmassy candles. I opened up all my Christmas boxes and I do not have one Christmas scented candle. Wow. I don't know how that happened. Okay. Okay. Well, let's smell candles. Okay, so fun. we do have a little bit of a mission. We're not going to get distracted by anything else, but we're just going to have some fun inside. All right. And I will share my top decorating tip that has now been also verified by Cass from Clutterbug. So it's a really good one. Okay. And, oh, grab that devotional. At the end, we'll get serious and we'll start because Advent starts this weekend, which means the the season leading up to Christmas. And so this is a 25 day devotional. Oh, cool. It is beautiful. It's yeah. more pretty than anything we're going to find in there. <laughs> um, so we're going to just talk about that too. And, and, you know, start the Christmas season in a meaningful way. We got coffee, decor, candles. Starbucks, home goods. It is all about the meaning. <laughs> and little baby. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. Oh man. It's just, it's just too much. I feel overwhelmed already. <laughs> Santas are really making a comeback. They are. Like, just did you see my Santa, Santa that lights up? That's really cool. Yeah. yeah. All right. Angels. Oh, these trees, Diana. Look at these trees. Oh, cute. Okay, check out this nativity. I have the willow tree one um, that I've had for years. Mm -hmm. But isn't this kind of like modern and cool? That's really neat. Are, there, are the stars cutouts in them? Oh, they, they light, light up. up. Oh, LED. You know I like things that light up. Yeah. Do you? All my new stuff. You don't watch my videos anymore. I, I'm stuff. a little behind, okay? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So is it battery operated then? Um, love and light, it must be, huh? Do you think that looks kind of modern though for my house? Yeah. No, it's really pretty. Okay. And it's a good scale. Yeah, I need a little bit bigger size. Not super impressed with the greens. Diana's the... really picky, actually, if you don't know her well. <laughs> Particular. But how do we define that? I mean, really, like, <laughs> it's relative, You right? just have something in mind, but and you're not seeing it. Don't you think that this is just, this is too much glitter? That's too much. And... Yeah, there's too much but fun. all of it is very glittery, and... Uh... Yeah, no, you want it more organic. And I don't like, have this, like, what is that, like a magnolia thing going in here, so... And then this is too white. No, way too white, yep. Caden does not like it. <laughs> Puzzles for the kids, but I don't know. These are really, that candy one is kind of fun in the back. 
Oh, I got one of those roll up mats for dad. And it you did guys... not work very well. Huh. It wasn't flat. And then like when you roll it up, the pieces still get messed up. So I'm not quite sure how it's <laughs> supposed to work, but. You actually have to redo the puzzle every time you roll it up. Yeah. I think an actual puzzle board would probably be a better investment. Oh, right here. Puzzle table. Ooh, $80. No, mm. we'll just keep doing what we've been doing. <laughs> <laughs> we'll keep using the card table. Okay, these topper things, I would love to know if they're good because that just seems like so much extra sugar going into yeah. a drink that's already sweet. Right, if you add it on top of your cocoa. Yeah. How much are they? Can you... $12.99. No. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. We'll find a homemade version <laughs> with less sugar. Yeah. The spoons are cute though. <laughs> yeah, those are fun to make at home though too. $4.99. Yeah. I could get on board with that. Okay. <laughs> I spy a really cool tree serving platter okay. steered thing. So the minimal mom. How many actual Christmas specific things do you get though? Yeah, I know it's really pretty though, isn't it? It's this is super why I don't pretty. like coming into this store. <laughs> but then we have to pack it away and store it. Yeah. I already have probably one too many Christmas bins. Okay. So, so nothing specific to the holidays. Okay, but how much is it? It is kind of cool. Oh, it's kinda heavy. Oh, it's not on the tag? $30, oh. $29.99. Yeah, we'll, we'll leave it here. Now, 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 see, now I'm starting to get on board with it. <laughs> like for Christmas like tea. Your charcuterie, you know, to add I a know. little height to your charcuterie layout stuff you do. Okay, here's my thing with candles. I said, oh, I want to get candles. And then I look at the price. I know. And to get like just a small one now. Wait, you know, I feel like so you pay expensive. what you used to pay for like a big jar candle. Yeah. Okay. For Maybe one. Let's find one that we really well, love. Well, I really like the red ones down on this okay. end cap here. Uh, one. So one. so I love the red. That's actually my decorating tip is mm -hmm. to do pops red. And Cass actually said she's been doing that in her new house. And she's like, everyone in her family was like, it feels so festive in here. So I love the red. I'm actually really liking these pretty ones in like the vintage. Mm-hmm like jars and containers. Cause then it's like a piece of decor too, not just a candle. Yeah. Although how cute is this? <laughs> That's a candle, what? See, that just screams teacher gift to me. I know. Doesn't it? <laughs> it's so cute. <laughs> wow, there's like a candle boat. How many, really how many wicks? Cool. Oh my goodness. But that's neat. Though. I know, but with kids, I could never ever. Hmm. Where it's could like I possibly put it high though. enough? Yeah, that's yeah. really cool. How much is it though? Found it. It's red, Ooh. like you said. Yeah, it's a different shape. Cinnamon. How many wicks are in it? Three. Well, that's but fine. But it'll be perfect in the windowsill Oops. above the sink. Oh, that's neat. Is there, is it like colored wax or am I just not seeing it? No, oh, it's, it's just the wax. top of it. Yeah. And, oh, and it's cool? so, oh, that's really pretty. It looks kind of classic and pretty. Yeah. How much is it? It's only $20. $20? Are you joking? That's what you have to spend these days doing. What? I'm not getting any candles. <laughs> it's actually 25 okay. Do you have Christmas pictures that you bring out only at Christmas time? Like no. from Christmas's past? No, because we have nowhere to put them, but okay. I love these frames. These are actually a pretty good value. Yeah, $9.99. $7.99? $6.99? Oh, $6 what? All right, let's stock up. Okay. Okay, so we are going to distract ourselves in the impulse by all aisle on the way <laughs> yeah. to the cash register by talking to you and talking through what we found. Okay, so the nativity scene, I feel really good about that. That's I feel really like that's kind of... That's a for sure. And the yeah. scale is what we needed and everything. Yep. Okay. Yep. The Christmas tree cake tower thing, two-tiered mm -hmm. serving tray. I don't really have anything for serving that is Christmas specific. Yeah. So maybe, and Christmas tea is like my thing. Yeah. So maybe that's a good investment, like... I think you would use it year after I year. Do. Yeah, you and it's have gold. Storage and... space where you can put it. I do, technically. So, okay. I and like... <laughs> the twenty-five dollar candle. I'm I'm having. I Should we leave do that really here? need a candle? Okay, maybe in this aisle we actually will find there maybe really... a smaller candle. It's just like I feel like it. I'll use I'll use it the whole year, the whole season, the whole. It's kind of a lot. Of... You do you. Do. Okay. Yeah. We're gonna leave the candle behind. Okay. Someone else can pick it up. Do you ever pick up stuff that other people love? Oh yeah, for sure. I'm yeah. like, thank you. Okay, really someone funny. else will love it. And then, yep. oh, okay, the frames. Those are a good find. These, I, those. I love taking out pictures with just our Christmas decorations and then being like, oh my goodness, look how small the kids were. Look, yeah. that was such a fun memory. Or our Christmas like card from the last year. Like seen it too. Totally, or at mom's house, I saw a picture of Cora from last year and I was like, I don't remember that. So that was fun to yes. see. Right? And so pull out year after year. So these I feel like are a really good value too at like $6.99 and $7.99. So, yep. okay, we feel good about that. Okay, all right. Yeah. Oh, there are some candles up here. Oh, 
I'm gonna replace the, the big bougie one. This red one. Oh, that's pretty. Holiday Joy. That's kind of fun. $9.99, Dawn? Okay, yeah, so but does good. it smell good? That's always the thing. That's actually, I like that. It's kind of a fresh. I like that better than cinnamon. I mean, cinnamon's okay. fine. Okay, well, the, pr the price, okay. <laughs> oh, these made it in, Dawn. We couldn't resist, huh? Yeah, try them. All right, Just we're gonna try them. <laughs> what can I get started for you today? Hi, can I get a small light roast coffee? Absolutely. Okay, I just got a plain black coffee so we can try one of our chocolate marshmallow toppers in it, okay? I still think it's gonna be so sweet. Do you? Well, I was looking and for one piece, it's only 80 calories and 13 grams of sugar. So oh, that's 13 not, grams of sugar isn't overly That's not sweet. like ton. You know, one teaspoon of sugar is 10 grams. So <laughs> I'm trying you, to be logical how here. How do you know that? I don't know. <laughs> I'm sitting in back with the baby. Did you used to do that? Did you sit in back, make sure if he needs his pacifier? Here, use my card. Oh, well, I don't know. Did I? I don't, don't remember. remember. This is okay. I, don't I know. stopped asking Dawn anything because she does not remember yeah. anything. But it just, I, I feel less tense if I'm just like right there. And mm -hmm. okay. I yeah. think lots of moms do that. Okay, yeah, okay. I think so too. Mm -hmm. So this devotional is beautiful. It's 25 days. But what I want to tell you about it, the the little devotionals themselves are multiple pages. It, so it- Do I have time for that? That's what I, okay, okay, so that's why I want us to be realistic. We might not get through all 25 days before Christmas. Mm -hmm. Can you do it after Christmas? I think so. Can you do one day a week? I think so. You know, like, so I just want us, if you're gonna, it's a little bit of an investment. It's a beautiful hardcover book. So I just want us to be realistic about, you okay. know, if you're like, I, I can't read five pages a day. Right. A lot of us can't, but can you read five pages a week? You know, or could Perfect. you read one page five days? <laughs> Thank, Thank you. Me too. Okay. Got the coffee. Got coffee. Okay. When was the last time you ordered a coffee black? Uh, I actually like black coffee. You do? So, yeah. You're such a grown up. I know. <laughs> okay. So, really get the book and then just have the goal to be to finish it within the next five Christmases. You know, we don't like we're always in a hurry with everything. We don't we have are. to be in a hurry with but it. I think if you just sit with it, okay, you drive. I'm going to start right here. Yeah, it is beautiful. And the illustrations. So it's by um, Ruth Chow Simmons. And so oh, she yeah. does the artwork and everything. But just oh, even look at this first page, like oh. the classic red, just beauty of Christmas. And so I just feel like even if you can sit for a couple minutes and just look at the beauty of it yeah. you know just like so that's what i just wanted to be realistic about but the very okay. first devotional was talking about expectations versus expectancy oh so she's saying expectations can sometimes let us down yeah but expectancy especially if we start thinking about jesus and his birth will always fill us with hope and faith and last christmas we were sick I don't know if oh, you remember that's right. that. Yeah. You know, we're kind of in that little kid phase and we got sick the week before Christmas and we're still cr sick on Christmas day. That's right. Had to reroute our plans. Somehow we still ended up with a house full of people because <laughs> that's just how we roll. And it was like, I just like have this lasting memory. It was home alone in our house. Our three year old or two year old at the time was screaming. We did not know if it was like an earache or something like that. Everything is closed. Walgreens and stuff and so we're trying to just diagnose but he wasn't able to articulate and then people are coming to like drop by food and like oh here just open this gift for our four-year-old and we're like hey we could be contagious it, it was just chaos and so it's just funny how going into this year I didn't you I didn't have much Christmas baggage mm -hmm. we haven't had a lot of loss around Christmas yeah. or anything like that but now I'm like oh this is what it feels like to be worried about being disappointed on Christmas because I, yeah. for the first time, had that thought, what if we're sick again on Christmas? Aww. Hey, did you pop that thing in there? No, okay. I was waiting for you Sorry, to yeah. finish I, your Because I think it's going to have to like dissolve a little, right? Or melt? Or will that be pretty instant? I don't know. I have, I have no idea about any of this. Okay. I don't know, I don't and know I don't want you to... Say. Okay, I hope they didn't fill it too full. Okay. Yeah, okay, go ahead and I'm just gonna dump, dump a little. little. So. All right, so look at that. So is it a marshmallow thing? It is. It's like a marshmallow. Oh, okay. With chocolate on top. Okay. So I think you just... Pop that baby in there. Oh, it's really hot. It's okay. I haven't, right. haven't had my van detailed. Oh yeah. Are you okay? Sorry. <laughs> okay. All right. 
So right. now, do we like do you just let just it, let it, it melt? do its thing? All right, you keep talking, and we'll just let it melt. Some of us are experiencing loss at Christmas. I know a ton of people experience just difficult family dynamics. That's mm -hmm. almost universal, and so you can see how the expectations can start to build in both positive and negative ways yeah and maybe but then also these expectations around a perfect christmas for the kids and all the right gifts and christmas mm -hmm. morning going a certain way like does yep. christmas morning totally. ever go off the rails and you're just like we are mm -hmm. supposed to be having a magical time right now yeah. you know and if we can kind of shift that toward expectancy and toward the hope that we have in Jesus. And kind of, that's what I love about devotionals like this at Christmas, if we can kind yeah. of get ourselves back to the reason mm -hmm. for the season. It's like we just do this big, giant step back mm -hmm. and we're like, okay, yeah. let's not put so much pressure on ourselves. Our family is gonna be our family. Yeah. Um, or maybe this, I know this might be a lonely time and it's gonna be difficult and, and that's okay. And I can do what I can do and ask the Lord to help me in that. So, but, take a giant step back and so I feel like devotionals and things like this help us to get perspective it's so, probably the most important time of year actually to have a devotional almost I think so and I feel like mm -hmm. it somehow it feels built in a little bit more like you could mm -hmm. sit in front of the tree yeah. or have With a cup of tea like there, it just kind of feels like a sentimental time yeah. where you want to take a minute for that so totally okay. can we where's your spoon yeah so okay. it's still just floating which is kind of fun oh oh what's it doing it's oh. not melting oh. <laughs> No, it's flipped over. Okay, I'm, I'm submerging it. Okay. I mean, the coffee is plenty hot enough. You would think it would I know. be melted. Oh, I know. Now I put a hole in it. Well, that's good. I, I think it needed to be okay. broken up a little bit. I know. How are we going to... Well, now it's just messy. I wonder if we should have put a little cream in the coffee. I should have asked for it. Like I was trying to get the... A touch. I know. We wanted honest. the whole experience. Hmm. Okay. I feel like we're in the movie Elf right now. <laughs> should we add some spaghetti and cereal to it? <laughs> yeah, right? Oh, it's, now I think it's really starting to work in. Okay but we're not gonna be able to taste it because it's too hot. Right? Like even my hand is like burning right now. Well, we might have to uh, let you know how this is in part two of <laughs> this video. Are you kidding? Caden's sleeping and we're out and about. Like, <laughs> let's just keep hanging out. Like this is, this is the highlight of my week. He's, he's six weeks old now. And so it's kind of like, I was just like, let's get out. Like, let's, yeah. we're ready. It's a beautiful day here. You can see the sunshine. Um, I have, I think all of my Christmas shopping done because we yeah. have so highly simplified. Mm -hmm. And then that honestly is the first store that I've been in in yeah, uh, since we had six him, weeks. Right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I think it's, do you think you can safely drink it? No. Well, but I'll do it for you. Christmas cards are ordered. They are not labeled and mailed yet. Oh yeah. We tried to take, did the picture turn out? It we were trying out. to take it at Thanksgiving. Yeah. Dawn has a great hack where you take a video of the kids because we had, we're trying to get all four kids. And so um, we put it on video and then find a screenshot where they're all, it was like, it had to be close enough. It was not, we did not get all four kids, obviously. Yeah. I mean, Kata did great. Um, <laughs> and so then I just ordered them on Walmart. Yeah. That's the, the best thing. prices that I've found. Yep. Uh, Costco and Sam's Club can also be very competitive. Costco though, this year is just using Shutterfly or something and oh. just giving you a discount. That felt complicated to me. Yeah. What I like about using Walmart is there's 20 faith, D related designs to choose yeah. from and I tell myself I am using one of those I am not going to be a perfectionist and we're going to yeah. get this thing out so I love that this was the height of non-perfectionism your one picture do you know what's so funny like you are going that and then I saw a Shutterfly commercial and it was showing like the double weight card stock with the foil and I'm like you know we've never done that maybe we should do that and then it's so funny that's so funny because I did you I was tempted to get pay more for the card stock the heavyweight yeah. but I just did the photo paper because like, that's what just you gonna throw it away yeah because yeah. you taught me that and now you're yeah. like we'll getting... just, we will end up doing it but some because I'll look at the price and I'll be like I'm not paying a dollar per card like who Mark am I Ian. yeah it get it is designed to get us okay all right I mean I might have just spent $25 on a candle <laughs> I, I might have got that one. I figured out the trick to going into Home Goods and not buying anything. It's to hold a baby the whole time. I didn't buy anything. It I know, great. and the cart was actually full of his car seat, too. So there's yeah. a lot of ways that we avoided. You didn't buy it. Well, all you bought was these silly topper things. All right, what do no, you think? that doesn't taste good. I was wondering if it's Shoot. not enough. I think we needed a little creamer in there to, like, kind of... All right. Mm -hmm. Back. Okay, I'm going to put yeah, the recipe... Yeah, but just even the flavor, I don't think it's good. I'm going to put the recipe for my almond milk... Co sugar cookie Yeah, that latte. was way better. And you can make that at home. And then yeah. these were three ninety nine that we didn't need to spend. Should we ask for our money back? 
yeah, it's not enough. Like the okay, fl- but the flavor's not good. There's no flavor. Like yeah. my concern was like you're putting that in hot chocolate. Your hot chocolate's already sugary, but I get it. It's not overly. It's sweet. just for decoration. But it's you not did actually just anything. add 80 more calories to hot chocolate. That, that is not worth sense. But to that coffee, it's not worth 80 calories either. Mm-hmm. I would just drink it black. Darn it! It's not terrible. I ruined my coffee. No, I like it. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I'm gonna can have this. it. All, All right. right, actually, I will. <laughs> uh, little sips. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm going to pray mm-hmm. and uh, thank you for hanging out with us and, you know, getting out of the house with me. This was kind of fun. We'll do it again. <laughs> so, Father, we just thank you for this time, Lord. Thank you for a time just to smile and be lighthearted and to spend time together. But also thank you for opportunities to refocus our hearts on you this Christmas season. Lord, I pray that you would help each one of us to release expectations that add pressure. Lord, that make the season um, that can make it feel stressful or difficult, Lord that even right now, we would release some of those expectations for you, for gift giving, for family time together, for Christmas morning. Lord, that we know that you're with us in those times, that what's most important is that we're worshiping you, we're together as family, and that we're keeping our hearts centered on Jesus. And so, Father, I just pray for that grace. Lord, I pray that you would be with us throughout this season as we prepare our hearts and make room to receive the truth of your birth Jesus, that you came as a man, that you walked among us, Lord, that you that you lived and then you died to usher us into eternal life in you. What an amazing gift that we get to celebrate this Christmas. So Lord, prepare our hearts, help us to slow our pace and help us to be, become more like you this Christmas season. So I bless each one of us now in Jesus' name, amen. Mm-hmm.